Hi guys, how are you doing? Another morning in Bangkok. Today we are going vintage shopping at one of the recommended vintage shopping retailers here in Bangkok. It's called the Bangsu Junction Market. Um, you can see vintage everywhere. It's apparently four floors, which is crazy. But I'm here to pick up something for me and something for my mum back at home, which is specially requested. But yeah, apparently it's four floors of, of vintage. And I'm really excited to go and have a look at what this has in store for us. I have no clue what I really want for me. I'm a sucker for a good shirt, um, as you can see. But I'm also just like perusing, browsing, intrigued. I'm a bit of a like history of art nerd as well. So super excited to see like what there is on offer here. Come with me. Okay, I feel like I'm in the artifact section, which is all great if you have a house to decorate because I've got nowhere to live. Um, I want clothes. Oh, it's so nice and air conditioned in here. Thank God. Um, does my hair look a mess as well? Because the guy on the grab made me wear a helmet, which is a good thing, but I was like, I'm gonna have helmet hair for my vlogs. So I'm just going to go upstairs and see where the vintage clothes are. It's like there's antiques and furnishings like everywhere, which is very cool, but not really the vibe that I'm like looking for. But my mum would have an absolute field day. Like she would love this all so much. Crazy shoes. Look at that. So sick. Huge fan of this and this. Love that so much. Also love the colour of this so much. I wish I actually had money to buy this stuff. <laughs> Maybe one day. When the styling is like totally on point. Yep. Mm-hmm, girl. She got it going on like Betty Boop. This Gucci jacket though, this Gucci sports jacket is also stunning. But I bet it's like insanely expensive. Some of the stuff is really expensive in here. Like it's like London prices for vintage, which is a bit sad, but you know what? The world is what the world is. I used to be obsessed with these back in the day, Avisu jeans. I used to dream about having one with like the massive squiggle on the back. These are so dope. I also want a pair of Thai boxing shorts, but obviously not the ones for kids. But they are very cute. Yeah, I'm totally in the kids section. Oops. Okay, so it was all quite expensive and I don't have a crazy amount of money, so um, I didn't buy anything. I also didn't buy anything for my mom because I don't have those types of like Chinese silk tops that she wants. She's honestly like the hardest person to buy for. She's so fussy. But I'm just gonna go get some food because I've not eaten all day and it's now nearly 6 p.m. So I'm gonna go do my food and then reassess the day. This is the Chatu Chak weekend market. It's not the weekend, so it's only partially open, but it looks huge. And like, there's so much stuff here too. But the question is, where do I find food? I just need like a decent cheap restaurant because I am absolutely starving now because I've been fasting all day. I've been trying to do intermittent fasting this trip but it's really hard in the heat also it's hard when you're out and about and also like you just get so so hungry and so lethargic when it's like near the end of your fasting thing so that's literally where i am now and i'm just like 
Look at this face, I'm tired. I really need food. God, thank God, I think I found somewhere. Yay. I don't mind a noodle, I could do a noodle.